Okay, so super quick, if we go to our course shell, um, I usually put a kind of a welcome announcement in there and um, you guys can feel free to take a look at that. That was, there's a really neat TED talk in there that is showing that IQ is no longer the standard to measure somebody's aptitude or intelligence. And that is not, they found out that IQ is not actually a good predictor of how successful somebody's going to be in the workforce or in school. It's something else. And it was a very, very good TED talk. Then we also have up here, uh, meet your instructor and let's get acquainted. And so you can learn a little bit about me in there. Um, if you don't know me, I've been in the fitness industry for 17 years. Um, and I have uh, my bachelor's and my master's in exercise science. And um, I grew up in Canada, so you might find that, you know, I have a little bit of an accent. Um, uh, and I've been in sports all my life, just kind of naturally gravitated towards exercise science and love, love teaching. I've been a college professor for seven years and I've taught literally hundreds of exercise science classes. But I also teach healthful living classes or health education classes and um, recreation management classes because in addition to being a, a trainer and a coach um, and a manager at several fitness facilities, I've also been you know, a professional adventure guide and worked with a lot of at-risk youth programs and wilderness therapy programs and such. So um, that's a little bit about me. You know, here's you know my you know certifications that I have. Um, so you can kind of read through some of that. We also, you know, you're uh, encouraged to like me on Facebook. Um, one of the things that um, I'm doing right now is I'm posting a whole bunch of stuff on my Facebook page. Might not be related to nutrition, but some of it might. Like I'm teaching applied nutrition, and I have an, had a guest speaker come by and give a, like a, a whole thing on holistic medicine and how um, naturopaths approach people in their practice as as uh, you know it, you know holistic medicine. And this type of medicine has been practiced oh many many centuries more than what modern modern medicine hasn't even been around for a hundred years yet since the invention or since the, the discovery of penicillin and naturopaths have a really neat take so this one just you know a little five minute spiel and then I have other things on here that might not be topic related to nutrition but it's fitness related so and uh, I hope to later on do some um, Facebook live sessions during some of my zoom classes so that you can also log in on Facebook Live and invite all your friends to check out some of the lectures that you're attending and, you know, whatever buzz you guys want to talk about with the Facebook Live, um, you guys can you guys can do that. So um, trying to make it, like, interesting for you guys to share with other people, too, about fitness and, you know, share with me some of the stuff you love about fitness. So that's kind of, you know, a fun medium that we can have, um, you know, for exercise science there's also you know this is my contact information you can text me email me via the canvas inbox if it's urgent text me um, if it's not so urgent I check my canvas inbox around twice a day class website there's a bunch of expectations here that you can check out a bunch of fun videos um, if you're a CrossFitter, you might find it interesting. You know, one of the best CrossFitters in the world, Matt Frazier, talks about his attitude towards school. Pretty inspiring. Um, and, you know, so there's some stuff there. This here is also on our Google Doc. So the big one that you want to know um, for my class is that I highly recommend that you submit your assignments to me Friday prior to the Sunday deadline. I won't mark them late if you submit them by Sunday. That's totally fine, but I give you lots of really neat incentives if you submit by Friday early. Because I'm trying to encourage you guys to get in the habit of thinking, I always submit early. That's who I am. Because that that is one of the character traits, a big one, a big character trait of a 
good fitness professional is being early for stuff and never being late. If you submit in early by Friday prior to the assignment deadline, you have the opportunity to resubmit for mastery if you didn't get the grade that you like. So if you, and keep in mind, this is not instructor versus student. You know, I want you guys to succeed as much as possible. I want to give you points. But if you miss something huge, right, and you don't want to, you know, stick with the C, the, the C grade that you got or the D or whatever, and you submit it early, you go and take that feedback that I've given you. So I'll explain why I gave you that grade. Um, you can resubmit it for more points if you submit it. Some of my students will, are they're submitting assignments 4.1 right now, early, and they're only half finished, and they've submitted it. That's fine. I encourage that. I know, Pauline, it's kind of weird, but I love the fact that they actually know what that assignment's about, because when they come to live class and they study all the stuff in the weeks previous to that, they actually have that assignment in their mind, thinking, oh, yeah, this would be really good to put in for that assignment. And then, wow, what that is, is that's a punch in the face that says, you're learning stuff that you didn't know before. So I encourage you guys to try and submit stuff early. And keep in mind, you can always resubmit, you know, up and until that deadline, no problem. Right? So um, early submission is kind of a big thing. A lot of my students really like that. One of the other things that is helpful to, helpful to me is if you um, submit an assignment to me and it's, um, uh, I prefer that you submit in a different colored font than the assignment, uh, the, the assignment font. So make it a different color. It's easier for my eyes to read when I download your paper. I, I already know what the question is, but it takes me a while to locate, okay, this is where the student's starting. Um, then I can very quickly find out what you've written, you know, as opposed to what's already, you know, defaulted on the page. Um, if you miss a class, I understand, you know, we're not traditional students, you know, we've got life going on, lots of stuff going on. If for some reason that you're not able to make a live class, um, I'm not going to hold it to you, hold it against you. You know, don't make, don't hesitate to come to the next live class because you missed the previous one. I'm I'm thrilled, okay, that you guys are coming to live class. Period. But um, just go ahead and type me a summary of watching the lecture. I highly encourage for you guys and your growth and learning. You can skip through some of the opening stuff, you know, where I'm asking everybody how the how it's going. But when I start to talk about the assignment objectives and some of the important stuff in the course, I recommend that you discipline yourself to watch all of it because I know most of the students, they'll watch five minutes in the beginning, five minutes on the in the middle, and five minutes at the end, and then they submit the summary and they're like, ha But they didn't, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into these live classes and I, I, I'm concerned that there's some good trade secrets that they may be missing. This is uh, the link to the Google Doc that I'm going to use for all of our presentation stuff. So you can also download yourself a copy of this. So you go to File, and you can save this as your own copy of a Google Doc. Right here, make a copy. Or you can download it as a Word document or a PDF. In this case, I'm still loading up for week two, week three. So what I would do is around week five, I would download a copy of this. This is the go-to for a lot of your hints for your assignments. And um, the stuff that we're talking mostly about, like for this particular assignment, we're talking about food labels. And there was a lot of stuff about trans fat that we discussed. So some of those things are important 